All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? Hope everyone is having a fantastic. Yes, I finally streamed. I had to um, I had to put it on pause last week due to um, a new job that I was starting and I had to be at work during the normal stream time. So everything got a little bit wonky. Um, but right now we're doing good. All right. Let's go ahead and run this way. The facility door is right behind us. Um, I think I'm going to take you guys to the facility key first to show you. This is a pretty good um, speed running dungeon. There's four event rooms on the speed run and almost no traps, I think. Maybe no traps at all. All of the traps are on the optional loot run, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a rare thing. Um, stay in my bandwidth. There we go. I think we're back. Okay. Excellent connection restored. We'll have a little bit of buffering, but hopefully that's okay. All right. We've got Saber and Direwolf in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my uh, pan, my trusty pan. Yeah, I'm just going to put that right there. Saber and Direwolf is always easiest with a pan. Stream keeps freezing up. Yeah, it's because I was downloading Ascended and I forgot to pause it before I started stream. And you know, that's... That's a lot of data. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Do, do, do. All right, we'll get rid of this guy. Okay. We're ready. We're ready for the next round. Ow. My skillet broke. That's about right. I love the iron skillet in this game, guys. It's so good. Um, You're happy but disappointed because on energy? Oh, no. Holy cow. Yeah, Ellen, I hope you're doing okay. Hopefully that goes well. Hopefully you recover relatively symptom-free. That's the dream. Um, yeah, COVID's not a fun time. All right, there we go. Finally broke a pan. It took me forever. I'll run down this way. Come here. I'm making separate little piles of critters. Do, do, do. I love a saber in direwolf room. I really do. All right, here we go. There we go. I knocked them all into this one, which is unfortunate. All right, we should have one more wave. Hey, Trailblazer, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. There is a saber behind me. Nope, he's in front of me. Come back. You almost got your giga killed because you raged kind of a wild giga. Oh no. Smart and restarted, which I did not save. There you go. Uh, I love a slowpoke. Hello. Love that I'm still streaming dungeons. What's the loot this time? You missed the start. Welcome. Um, if I recall, I believe there's a Bronto platform saddle is the, the funky loot. I think it's gauntlets. I read them off at the beginning and then I promptly forget them. I apologize. Actually, let me see. I might be able to see. Ah, yes. Uh, leggings, grenade, sleeping pod, and Bronto platform saddle. Look at that. It's on the map that I pull up. Perfect. 
I was like, wait a minute. I know where this is recorded. All right, so we're going to run through and grab this stuff. There are literally no crazy traps on the speedrun version of this dungeon, which is just incredible. No axicle traps. Not a lot of other stuff either, but that's okay. All right, we're going to run down this way. Spikes. Okay, this is the room. This is the facility key right here. As you can see, very easy to get to. Just the one room that can be easily passed with an iron skillet and a sword. Or a pike. I guess if you wanted to shoot them, you could. <laughs> Scorched Earth dropped yesterday. I know. I am currently... I was trying to download it, um... And then I forgot to turn it off when the stream started, unfortunately. So I had a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning of the stream. Because my bandwidth was downloading Scorched Earth on Ascended. Um, I'll be checking that out on Twitch tomorrow, probably. It looks pretty. I don't know if it uh, plays good, but it looks pretty. <laughs> uh, holy cow, you're so excited for June? I would not be. Um, I would be excited for June for non-ARC reasons. Because I don't think the revamp is coming in June, guys. Uh, the devs have said nothing about it. And I know everyone has really latched on to the June date, but I really don't know that it's going to happen. If the devs haven't said anything at this point, they are usually really good about like announcing release dates um, when they are confident they can hit them which means they are not confident they can hit June, which means I don't think we will see the revamp in June, unfortunately. Hopefully still this year, but definitely not June. All right, I'm waiting for my stamina to come back because it's taking its time. I keep flipping my map on and off. All right, now we're going to go do the optional stuff, guys. There is a lot of optional stuff in this dungeon. This is where all the traps are, as well as three additional event rooms. So instead of going to the facility gate, we're going to run up this way. This is a dimorph room, um, apparently. It's a slow dimorph room. I'm going to do this. I just tuck myself in the corner here. Dimorphs are usually pretty scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those hurt. Did you come here? I'll get him eventually. There we go. Okay, luckily it was only one round. Because those guys can kill you pretty quick if you're not careful. But decent armor, luckily. Alright, got a loot crate there. And then I believe we have a tech structure over here. And I don't think there's any scary wall traps here, so we're good. When do you think we'll get a second map on mobile? Thoughts? Uh, with the revamp, I think the revamp is going to come out hopefully sometime this year. I think the original or the initial revamp will probably be just the island with whatever new features they're going to do. And then they're going to, they did promise us this, give us our own release schedule for basically everything else. So, whoops, I forgot. This is an aloe threat room, guys. I just ran right into it. I was not paying attention. I was answering the question. Um, so hopefully Scorched Earth as the first DLC, the first optional map, really, will be out shortly following the island. I'm hoping within a month or two, but we'll see. You never know. Menender, hello. How's it going? Hello. You're behind me. There's a lot of aloes. Okay. Got a few more.
One down. Ow. And I'm cold. So cold. Yeet. That one disappeared. Ah, one shot short. Hi, buddy. I was wondering when he was going to hit me. He had a long pause there. All right, we're fine. Oh. Um, cool. Okay, we're in it. Let's see. That's the way out. That's not what I want. This is loot. This is what I want. All optional, this. I swear, if the cryopod doesn't come to Arc Mobile, I'll be sad. I would be fine without the cryopod, to be honest. I think that they really take out a lot of the challenge of the game, and on mobile I can see a lot of potential bugs and shenanigans happening with cryopods. Uh, chronicling works pretty well. I think it's a little bit more regulated. Chronicling, I'm fine with. All right, let's run up this way. Okay. Nothing crazy on this one. All right, let's run get these loot crates First, so I don't forget about them. Do, do, do. Fully optional loot run that I'm doing right now. Sebastian, hey, how's it going? Gecko, you'd rather have one new map on mobile than all 11 PC maps. Mobile versions will always have less content than on PC, so I'd rather play a different game than a nerfed PC version. I'm kind of with you, Gecko. I'm with you. I would rather have a completely new map mobile then get all of the all of the maps that are on PC I would also rather have the current version of mobile just like updated for devices than have what is essentially PC on mobile I don't want the same game the PC game I've played it's old it's boring at this point like even ascended there's not enough differences to make it a different game it doesn't feel fresh this should be the featured loot Yep, we got the sleeping pod. So I'm all about having completely new and different content, which would be cool, but we will see. You know, I'm feeling a save. <laughs> I come to the traps. So I'm like, eh, it's one of those days. Um, doo -doo -doo. We're just going to back that up real quick. Holy cow, Dream Arc Mobile. <laughs> no, it's not going to be $200 for the revamped version on mobile. There's no way. Um, I would fear microtransactions. That would be my big thing, is they might add more microtransactions that are actually game-breaking, unlike the current game. But mobile, no one will pay $200 for an app. Um, they know that. The market's just not there. Uh, mobile games, the money is all in in-game purchases. Wouldn't be surprised if we did get the Oasis Dinosaur on mobile eventually as a paid creature. All right, we'll run down this way. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll do this. This is going to be awful. There are three ice jumps in a row. So just be aware. This one's... Uh, it guards two premiums, so it's pretty cool, but it's a lot of nonsense to get to them. But it is optional. You don't have to get them. But I'm obsessed with finding my good comfy collars. So many. It's kind of fun. I like just floating gently down. If only all jumps worked like this. Probably be a lot less dramatic, but way cool. Alright, so that's the three to get down here. Ah, can't see. There we go. So now we have two premiums. Um, if I go this way... We get an unguarded premium. 
Torch Sparkler. Blah. And if we go this way, we'll have an Axical Trap and then another premium. Ah, penguins. Axicals. Good enough. I'm brave today. I'm not brave on this one. This one's too far apart. That one's pretty good. Ooh. Premium. What you got? Spinosaur statue. Hmm. That's a rare one. Alright, I'm gonna eat this. Ugh, the focus is real. Um, do, do, do. Are you serious right now, bro? Says, I miss this game, but they removed it in the Play Store. Um, they removed it in the Play Store for devices that are not compatible and cannot run it right now, which is quite a few things. Um, because the game hasn't been updated in so long, it is having trouble with uh, current Android versions, I believe, is kind of the issue. Some some people do report that it is in their store and that they can get it, um, which means that the issue is pretty, pretty spotty. But, yeah, hopefully the revamp will fix that. Hopefully the revamp uh, does come out. I would like that. Okay, now we got to go back through these. All three of them. It's a lot of trouble for two premium crates. I don't know that I would recommend it unless you're very confident with your jumping skills. Do, do, do. <laughs> Alan... Ice, I've traps, yeah. Ice traps. Love autocorrect. What's an I've trap? I've trap thing. Um. Do, do, do. Wish you could just tame a Megan around mobile and use them as an aerial symbiote. That would be kind of cool. I don't mind the aerial symbiote idea Um, in general. I think it's very handy. Very good looking. All right, one more optional event room, and then we get to do the run back to the main uh, the main part of the dungeon. Let's get through here. All right, this is the Castoroides and Otter minions. Let's go. Where's the big guy? There he is. Oh, I hear all the little otters squeaking. Oh, I forgot how big he was. He is huge. Really? He's so big, my shots don't count. And beavers hurt. Ow! My armor. Probably four or five of those shots didn't count for anything. Can I please pull out my... There we go. I'm so sorry! Look at him fly. Oh, that's tragic. They flew up, they smacked off the ceiling. I didn't like it. Um, all right, let's grab loot crates. No traps on these, which is excellent. Doop. Wish you could have the golden crown. You want a griffin so much. The golden crown is helpful. You can still get griffins without it. Um, I always use the name trick um, to get griffins because you can get them at level 40, which is the earliest you can get a griffin. And that's, uh, that's definitely the way. Then you don't have to worry about getting a crown you still get your griffins. You're limited to the one family, but the one family is plenty. You don't really need all of the different surnames. Do, do. Prefer to have a griffinly friend rather than just kill them for the symbiote. That's actually not a bad point. It would be more fun to have a Meganura as a friend, I think, if you could tame them. That would be cool. And that was just their, like, you picked them up, they just attached to your back. Problem is, is that then they would be very OP. Because they would not come off. And they wouldn't break. 
It'd be like the Terror Bird float, but infinite. Which is not necessarily what they want. Actually, they could have tied it to stamina on the creatures and made the stamina run down over time. That would have been interesting. I could see that. All right. We made it past the, the trap. That's not the way. This is the way. We're going to go this way. Dur, dur, dur. This way. This way. Trying to remember my pathing. There we go. All right, back to the starter room. Ooh. I heard that vent go off behind me. Whee! Facility gate. Here we go. Bam. Delightful. All right, we're going to run down here. There's essentially like three more event rooms, and then that's it. That's the whole the whole dungeon. Um, POV, you're new and you steal a Castoroides thing. Yeah, take the implants. Glad that mobile has better griffins than on PC. That's one plus. Yeah, well, the thing is, is that if they change, if they change mobile to be more like PC, we're going to lose Dodo's breedable for size, which is incredible. Dodos aren't worth taming on PC. They're 100% worth taming on mobile because it's fun. Um, they've got a thing. <laughs> and then you've got the griffins that are better. They actually work. They don't glitch out. And then you've also got um, the Equus Breedable for speed, which is cool. Yeah, Arc Mobile. I think Arc Mobile has more features that are different than the Switch version. The Switch version is very good, but me personally, I'll take mobile. I like the features they've added to mobile. All right, Mammoths. Mammoth, come here. A new one spawned behind me. They always spawn behind me. Two shots per mammoth. One, two, three. Okay. We'll take care of this guy first. Three shots for that guy because I missed the first one. Badly. Your mate boosted. That doesn't count. There we go. <laughs> du, du, du. I knew he was behind me. Du, du, du. Okay, I think we're good there. Any real world creatures worth aiming for you, PC or mobile? I I do like the real world creatures. Um, I like the fantasy creatures fine, but like the game was dinosaurs, you know. I like dinosaurs. All right, let's go up this way. We're going to grab loot crates now. Again, not really any traps on this side of the facility door. It's really just those event rooms. And that's it. Grab that. And then we'll run up and grab this one. Uh, holy cow, you found another unicorn, bought the chef station, realized there's still Griffin Kipple in chef station. Nope. Griffin Kibble is something you have to make. It is one of those things you cannot cheese your way out of it. Um, the only other way to get Griffin Kibble, other than straight up making it, is if you use the tech kibble processor and you convert some other kibble into Griffin Kibble using a Griffin implant. Um, that's typically how I get it if I am feeling lazy. I make like Quetzal Kibble or I buy Quetzal Kibble and I convert two of those into one Griffin Kibble. All right, this is a uh, Perlavia room, so super fun. We're about to get very much smacked. 
Shamshad, hello, how's it going? Come here. Okay, one there, one here. Yeah, he got me. Hold still. Her labia rooms are not hard, but they're long. Whoa! I didn't see the other one. I also can't move. Take a stimulant real quick. Ah. Hi, buddy. Ah. All right, that one's there. Yep. When you're slow, you really can't avoid them very easy. The stun to end. All right, let's look for a... He was behind me. Ah! All of them coming at me all at once. Terrifying. Okay, that one's there. None of them are run- Ah! You scared me. It took him a minute to see me. That one? Yeah. I always miss my first shot on these guys. Tap too soon. Uh, Shamsha says, I missed you last week. Aw, Shamsha, thank you. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to stream this week. I had, um, a work conflict. But we're good this week, and hopefully from here on out we'll be good. I'm going to set up a little, a little window for this so that I don't have to uh, get pulled away ever, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Go, go, go. Day jobs can be difficult. What do you think of Rideable for Labias in the anime series? I haven't watched it yet. Spoiler. But I like the idea. I think Perlavias could totally be rideable. Um, it's been theorized, it's been presented, people have said it should be a thing. Hi, Millie. I have a dog on me. She's curious. Hello. Alright, let's run up this way. Holy cow, you've been watching me since 2021 and can't believe I'm talking with you. <laughs> Man, I live stream all the time. Wee wee, hello, how's it going? Hoping game purchases aren't in the revamp, to be honest. I think it depends on the in-game purchase. There's a lot of um there's a lot of things I actually don't mind purchasing on mobile. And I actually like the way that the currency is handled for the most part. It's not bad. Like I've seen quite a few mobile games and they lock all progress. You can earn the in-game currency in this game well enough that you you don't have to pay for things. It does help. And we're not even going to talk about PvP, because PvP is a totally different ballgame. But, like, when I'm playing this game, I don't get... I don't get locked from progression by not making a $20 purchase, which is how it is in a lot of mobile games. So I'm not... I'm not as upset with the in-game purchases as I think a lot of people are, but I think that's because I've played so many games that I... I kind of get the... This is such a rare game. To be able to get all the way into the dungeons without spending a dime. It's rare. It is. Um, only microtransactions should be for cosmetics. I'm kind of with you on that. I, I really did not like the eerie turrets being a paid item. Um, that's like my biggest complaint is that that's a very, very strong item. And it's paid. And you can only have it if you're paid or if you trade for it or if you're in the you know, in with someone who has it in your tribe. It's it's kind of a lot. All right, Daedon and Carno minions. This is going to hurt. It's going to be ouchy. I'm looking for the pig. Where's the pig? There he is. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing where he's too close to me. There we go. Okay. 
now. Piggy's rude. Okay. But if you want a day on, uh, you can get exactly one day on today. All right, here we go. We are officially at the boss teleporter. Um, let's go ahead and check everything. My armor is in a little bit of rough shape today. I'm not surprised with the castorities and a day on. And the prelavia. I was going to get hit, but we're doing all right. Um, otherwise, things look good. My food is at basically zero. That's better. Let me eat one more. Ah. We'll start that weekly pursuit. And then we'll throw up a quick save. Should be the Megapithecus today. Menu. Save. Um. Go, go, go. Holy cow, your favorite series is Schwab's and Gwanda collab. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun series. I really wish we could have gotten further with that. Our schedules were just so wildly different. There we go. Very difficult. But it was such a good time. You miss, you fool. Ugh. I might be the fool. Ah! Doo -doo -doo. I see a little monkey as I'm running. Bye, Ellen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you feel better real soon. There he is. Big guy. Really only care about the big guy. Monkey. Big monkey. Oh, I killed a little monkey. That's fine. He's a little big. Ah! Not what I meant to do. Can you get every item in the game using amber? Um, no. There are some items that are paid only. There's not many. Um, they're called the archetypes. You can specifically get blueprints for items that are paid. Holy cow says, I hope you get the job. Oh, holy cow, I did get the job. That's why I couldn't stream last week. I was doing the job. You... I hate monkeys. I hate the little monkeys. Oh my goodness. The worst. Why are you just standing there? Ah! Ow. No! He got me. There we go. You know what? I feel like I need a simulant. There we go. It would be tragic if I beat the boss only to die the minions because the monkeys knocked me out. I'd be very upset. There he is. Woo! Got it. Alrighty. Done. Killed all the minions. All done. Let me... I can do this. Every time. I want a bed list. So bad. It's been talked about so much. And then development stopped. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, Voodoo, yes, this is Arc Mobile. Um, 
Man, you came in right at the end. We just finished doing a dungeon run, which is like the boss version on mobile. Um, I really like the, the mobile boss fights, actually. They're quite fun. Lots of skill. Look at those monkeys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why do I think he's the panda knock out the mega monkey? I don't know. I don't think that works. I don't think you can knock out the bosses. Maybe the minions. I haven't tried that. That might actually be a good way to deal with them. Uh, there we go. Look at that, guys. All done. We got some stuff. We got some items. We got some elements. Um, actually, I know I got some blueprints, too. I did see an... Nope, it was an apprentice. I thought it was Ascendant. Tech Sleeping Pod was the featured loot. Um, most of this stuff is garbage. That's actually not the worst. Ascendant flak chest piece I've ever seen. But my riot one is way better. So there you go. Alright guys. Well, um, like I said, speed run of this dungeon. There's essentially no traps and only four event rooms. So I highly recommend speed running this one. Uh, there's really only two axical traps. If you want to get through those. Um, and three ice jumps. No wall traps at all. So really, the optional portion isn't even that bad. Um, I don't know why they called it hard difficulty. It's it's medium. I'm going to give it a medium, but only because there's a lot of armor eaters in there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We should be back again next week with the next one. Uh, yeah, and I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and catch you in the next one. Signing off. See you, Guana.